When Geron arrived back home, a full moon had passed. He had come too late. A feverish delusion had overcome the land. The seer's messengers delivered dark dreams. Dreams of doom and peril. The seer had created his own realm of prophecy. A desperate realm. Where? Near his hideout. I'm back. But why is it snowing? It can't even be the beginning of Boron yet. Nuri. Why did Nuri have to plant these things right in my way? Nuri will forgive me. There's something glittering inside. It must be made of water from the fairy well. Nuri will be happy that at least something survived. After Hinkle, Finkle and all the rest of the bunch have withered away without her care. One of the mandrakes has survived. Poor Nuri. Without her, none of her friends have survived the winter. Like the matted beard of old Cephal. Night Rathling! What? Who? Don't you remember me? The farm in Thash Mountains last fall. Oh yes! The pleasant boy with the beautiful girl! Time flies. Say, what happened to the girl? The seer has abducted her. The seer? Then she's doomed. I will save her. Wake up, boy! She'll have perished by now. No. He needs her alive. Nobody knows where the seer is concentrating his power. And anyone who eventually finds him would have to die horribly. Believe me, I know what I'm speaking of. Why are you sitting here before the gates of the town? I have failed in my quest. I have disappointed the king and my country. I was in the search of the seer. He's back and foisting his dark crows upon the land. The madness has a grip on us all. Did you find the seer? No, but I was closer to him than almost anyone before. The further I rode, the more often I was watched by eerie creatures. Their soulless gaze burned on my back and sucked the life from my bones. Thus weakened, I finally left my path to confront them in the dark. But they fought with unholy might. I could barely escape. They wanted to keep me as far away from their master as possible. I'm sure about that. What happened to Andergast? Mischief rained upon us. Swarms of crows ravaged the land until there was only dead earth left. Are there even more now than there were last autumn? Oh, tempests of crows! Every night there are more and more. They say they bring the worst nightmares. Even in their houses, people aren't safe. What does the king do about this threat? When he learned who was behind the plague of crows, he sent the most stalwart knights and many of the townsfolk to seek out the seer and finish him off. But alas, none returned victorious from this quest. If they even returned at all. And now I have failed as well. Where is the king? He's barricaded himself in the castle. It would seem the seer will finally fulfill his wicked plan even after 13 years. Tell me about the creatures who defeated you. Soulless creatures they were. Cold, relentless and final. Like Boron himself. I... 
I, I don't want to think about it anymore. They were not from this world. I don't have to listen to any more of this. Do you know if a fairy scholar has reached Andergast? A noteworthy guy by the name of Giacomo Norta. Never heard of him. You'd better ask at the Academy of Magic. They know these things better than I do. You're sitting here because you failed? I don't dare go back without having succeeded. It doesn't matter if I report or not. The doom for all can't be stopped now. But to stall and give up doesn't help either. Leave me! I have failed. I wouldn't have thought bearing that burden would weigh much heavier on me than giving my life for my country. Look, one twig has survived. A sign of hope. Dream on, boy. Or better yet, don't dream at all. It must have slept through the beginning of winter. Olgird, what are you doing with the pitchfork there? Ah! Ah! Go away! Leave me alone, nightmares! Calm down, it's me, Geron. Geron? You, of all people? When it's almost over? What's wrong with you? What happened to Ulfried? He's dead. I skewered him with the pitchfork. Why did you kill Ulfried? Yes. You think it's my fault, don't you? It is my fault. I hear them scream. Murderer! Murderer! There's nothing there, Olgird. Listen, why did you do it? I had dreams that I'd have to die because of him. Because of him! He always stared at me. With those pig's eyes of his. He grunted he was hungry over and over again. I'm hungry! I knew he'd eat me neck and crop. He'd eat me if I didn't put the fork through his head. What do you mean by the end? I can't go on. I'll take my own life. Don't be foolish. The dreams, Geron! When I close my eyes, I see his grotesque face. He haunts me in my sleep. I am a murderer, Geron. And murderers have to die. Stop that nonsense. Give me the pitchfork. All will be well, believe me. I should listen to you, of all people. Maybe this is all your fault. Why should I listen to you? Ulfried's death wasn't your fault. Hmm. It wasn't you who did it. Those crows hexed you. Hexed me? Yes. You wouldn't have caused Ulfried any harm, would you? So there must have been a curse that wielded the pitchfork using your hands. Do you really think? Trust me, it'll all sort itself out. Oh yeah? Didn't you always say that bad luck will befall Andergast if I didn't leave? Yes. But I did leave. Now see what happened afterwards? Yes, that's right. Couldn't that mean that I will write things after my return? But you'd have to trust me first. Do you really think? Come on, give me the pitchfork. Maybe you're right. Very well then. Take the pitchfork and clean it. What if I get nightmares again? Then challenge your fear. Try to understand it. I need your jug, Olgird. Just take it. Take everything you can find. So, I'm back. Their picture is fading more and more. If you knew what I've been through. I had planned to make a doublet of this once, in order to be accepted by Olgird's bunch of patriots who sported the colours of Andergast. Luckily, I lacked the patience to finish the job. I'll stab out the seer's eyes as revenge for what he did to Gwynling. I can heat up the brew with this. The fixture for the glass bulb. Gwynling used to brew his peculiar potions in this. 
Gwen Ling's small compendium of plants. Gwen Ling didn't want me to look in there, but he'd understand. An empty drawer doesn't need a bottom. Gwynling's remedy against the crow's curse. I need one mandrake, one yaruga, two ounces of thrash beard, something that attracts crows, and something that contains fairy magic. In brackets, presumably, all of that together is heated in a glass bulb. Something that presumably contains fairy magic. One mandrake. That's where the scent is coming from. Time to clean out. There's one dove's egg left. I wonder what happened to Hilda. Now I've got a peace envoy's flag, which I won't need because I'll kill the seer. Hilda used to wash her herbs in this. What's this? This root seems to have survived. Hilda will know how to take care of herself. That's Olgierd's friend, Ulfried. The raven will have to pay for every single dead body. The crows haven't left anything of the town's banner. If the crows do this to every town's banner, it would make great bait. Away with this rag. Droga? Who? Geron? The bird catcher? You can't do anything here. Those critters can be caught by no one. You'd better go. There's time to flee yet. Let me see the king at once. Don't be ridiculous. Nobody sees the king. The mischief the seer has brought upon us is taking up all his attention. That's exactly why I'm here. In these days, doom reigns over Andergast. It'll be best if you run away. Far away. You are still young. It has to be possible to gain admittance to the king. As long as the crows are wreaking havoc, nobody is admitted to the castle. You look tired. I haven't had any sleep for days. Why not? A crow attacked me. Since then I've been suffering from terrible dreams. That my wife dies during childbirth. <laughs> that my daughter vanishes forever into the woods. Both dreams came true. I'm sorry to hear that. You'd better go. There's time to flee yet. Let's see. 
pale yellow root, celery-like leaves. Without any doubt, a Yaruga root. One Yaruga? Let's see. Grayish green lichen bewitched forest. This has to be Thrashbeard lichen. Two ounces of Thrashbeard? Something that attracts crows? Now those ghastly crows only need to touch it. Ouch! Hot! Droga? I have a remedy against those critters. It reverses their curse and makes them ordinary crows again in no time. It's regrettable that you still have hope, bird catcher. But it's Gwynling's recipe, trust me. Your will alone is not enough. Prove it. You'd better go. There's time to flee yet. Night Rathling! Those peculiar crows, they must have a weak spot. Every bird can be lured or scared off by something. Hmm. When I came back to the town, the crows were madly attacking the pennant at the end of my lance. All I could salvage was a shred of it. Give me the remains of your pennant. The escutcheon is worthless. Andergast will perish. Come on, just give me the shred. Oh well, you can take it. I'll leave you alone. Thank you. Green cloth and brown oak twig. But for the town's emblem, I need an oak twig of green cloth. A green oak twig. Now all that's missing is a red crown. The town's emblem. Now I just have to sew the pieces together. Let's get going then. First the crown, then the oak twig. And that's how you make a banner. with it. The castle dwellers have just noticed your little work of art, boy. The king wants to see you now. Perhaps he's gathering new hope. Finally. Truly an incredible story, birdcatcher. So you're saying that the raven is the seer? Every day this bird approaches me and demands the ring of the burnt one. He will cast Andergast into eternal darkness, just like he did with Nuri's fairyland. You're displaying great boldness in showing up in front of your king after you vanished so unexpectedly. But don't misuse the woes of my land as an excuse for your own failure. This time I won't go away, my king.
If Nuri dies, I'll lose everything I have left. Do you think you're the only one who feels helplessness and despair? Lust for revenge and wrath makes us blind, like way back when. Thirteen years ago, perhaps we were the blind ones, not the seer. Well, well. The king and the bird catcher. A display that could be from a fairy tale. Where have your shining knights gone, my king? Spare your sarcasm, seer. You have been uncovered. <laughs> you believe what the bringer of bad luck is telling you? Hmm. Why should I mind? I have torn the veil of time apart, and I have looked Satinuff himself in the eye. Fate is riding in. Unstoppable. It's standing right inside your throne room, even now. Enough of that. What do you want? You know my offer, King Wraithling. Give me the ring, or fall into eternal darkness together with remnants of your realm. Decide. What shall it be? My king. Silence. You want my decision, seer? You shall have your ring. I will personally crown your ashes with it as soon as you are burnt for good. <laughs> no, little king. That is not the conclusion that I see. We had hoped it would end when we burnt him. But now, I'm not sure anymore. What if the prophecy concerning you is true? It's only the seer who conjures up misfortune. He had Knight Alderic and Magistra Dorota killed, and Gwynling. He has cast Nuri's home into peril, and he has called the crows to Andergast. Now he has abducted Nuri. She has to play the harp for him until she becomes a sad fairy. Your steadfastness warrants respect, but you are only human. Do not expect much help from me. Too many men I've sent to their death already. Your Majesty, grant me admittance to the Academy. This shall be my only plea. The Academy? What do you hope to achieve there? I have to talk to the Fairy Scholar and find out more about the Magic Harp. Your heart seems to be in the right place, Geron. I will give you a written pass that identifies you as my envoy. Be thanked a thousand times, my King. Good luck, Birdcatcher. I hope you'll be able to save your friend. Who goes there? What purpose does he have? I am Geron, the bird catcher. What do you want? What happened? Where did all the people go? Did you sleep through the last months? The crows have brought madness that has a grip on the whole land. Those who are still of relatively sound mind barricade themselves in their houses. The seer really isn't wasting any time. Is Giacomo Norta in the academy? Who? A memorable guy with two different colored eyes. He should be here. Oh, that agitated chap. Yes, he's here. Look, a royal charter. So, let me in already. Not so fast. Hmm, indeed. The royal seal. All right then, birdcatcher. You may enter, but I'll remember your face. <laughs> 